Hi, welcome to the Coffee Chat Show here on Buzzing Patia. Uh, today's discussion is what are the dangers of marrying a bar girl here in Patia, and not just Patia, but in general across Thailand. Uh, before we get into today's discussion, please remember hit the subscribe button, and if you'd like to be notified when we bring out a new video, please hit the bell icon. All right, so as you know, we meet up every week and we have a chat, uh, myself and some friends. And uh, we were talking about a particular problem that a friend of ours has had in uh, their relationship here with their Thai partner. And it got me thinking about, you know, there's a lot of things that we probably take for granted without actually realizing the implications beforehand. And we were just throwing these ideas around and here were some of the things that we came up with. Number one is in general, there's quite an age gap in general between the male and the female. Normally, the guys here are considerably older than the lady that they're spending their time with. So the, the implication of that age difference is, are they mature enough to be able to handle the, the relationship? Are you, if you're older, able to understand the younger person's needs and how they think, etc.? Does that cause you a problem? Is the fact that maybe she's 25 and say you're 50, is that an issue where you two just mentally can't connect because there's that age gap and, and their expectations are different? So does age cause a problem? Because a lot of the relationships out here, generally speaking, there is an age gap. It's, it's not very usual to find two people that are the same age or very, very similar. Not saying it doesn't happen, of course it does. But in general, normally the, the girls that work in the bars here are younger than the person that comes in to visit. So is age an issue? Number two is that language skills. You know, when you go into these bars, I don't know if, if you've had this experience, but it's quite normal that number one, their English is limited, which is a good thing, because if you think about it, if they're fluent in English, there has to be a reason how they're fluent, how have they learned this language so far. But secondly, they'll talk to you in broken English and then they talk to their friends in, in, in Thai, so you don't understand them if you can't understand the Thai language. And that can be quite frustrating, particularly if you're trying to have a conversation, you know, you're talking away and then suddenly they turn blah, 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 and come back to you and you're thinking, what are you saying? Uh, are you talking about me? And Thai language is very expressive. You know, there's a lots of uh, 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 and like laughing and, and finger pointing, and they're very blunt in the way they talk about each other. And that could cause a problem because maybe if you're not sure what they're talking about, you think they're talking about you. So is the language barrier another issue that, will cause you a problem in that relationship, particularly if there is that problem where she doesn't understand a lot of English, which is good, because that means she hasn't been in the bar scene too long, or you don't want to learn Thai. Is that an issue? Number three, family. If you look at the Thai families, generally speaking, what happens are the girls come down to Padia to work, and they come here because they've got a family back home, and they're coming here to support the family. So when you get involved in a relationship with a family, it's very different to how it is back in England or in, in Europe in general. In terms of when you go back, they have a huge network of family members that suddenly spring out the woodwork and say, oh, hi, I'm the uncle's uncle's sister's uncle's relation. And you're thinking, oh, okay, so this family's huge. Now, I'm not saying that it's, it's for everybody, but there is sometimes where those large families can be quite strained because there's always going to be a problem with, oh, my, my aunt's ill or, oh, my nephew needs to pay to go to school, etc., etc. And there's a lot of pressure that comes with this relationship in terms of like you are there to maybe feel guilty enough to support the problem that's in this large family or perhaps you're expected to support the problem that may have been in with this large family. So... The, the families are quite uh, quite different. And also the way that they interact with you. You, know, you might be lucky, some might gel with you straight away, and some might be very, very distant, and almost to the point that they ignore you even exist. And it can be quite difficult. You know, you go up to see the family. I remember when I was in England, if I go and see my, my wife's family, it was a great time. You know, it was a good thing. Everybody was pleased to see each other. Whereas sometimes if you go back to a family in, in uh, Thailand and they go up north into countries, it's very different. It's very, very different. I'm not saying everybody in the discussion we had in the group was, was mixed. You know, we have some people that have got great families 
uh, myself included, you know, my other Haas family, that are lovely. I couldn't wish for a nicer family. Never expect anything from me, never demand anything from me. They just make me feel very, very welcome. On the other side of the coin, we've also got people in our group whose family don't even acknowledge them. So it can be quite a strain and it can be quite uh, difficult to get your head around the family association with your relationship with this, this bar girl. Number four, money. Okay, we've got to be honest about this. These girls come to work in these bars, not because they want to, not because they, they think, oh yeah, it's a great place to come and work. They come here because they are looking for the goose to lay the golden egg. And that, I'm afraid, is us. And we have to take that on board. We have to understand that this is about money. Now, when we say about money, don't get confused. It's not about the money that's exchanged at that given moment in time if you decide to go off and have some fun together. We're talking about the relationship. The relationship with your bar girl is going to be financially, most likely, I'm not saying completely, but most likely very demanding because that, that particular bar girl is supporting her family. And that family includes mum, it includes dad, it includes any children she may or may not have, it includes brothers and sisters, it includes the problems that are gonna come from that. Remember we spoke about the large family, the culture. So you have to be prepared that the pressure is gonna come back to you. And it can be quite quite uh, overpowering sometimes when it, it seems to be a constant drain. I need money for this today, I need money for this darling, I need money for that. You know, it is, it is demanding and you have to be prepared for that because the last one we're gonna go on to is about the, the um, attitude, etc. So we'll cover that in a second, but it's very difficult for a bar girl to go back to her family with her golden goose and say, well, sorry, the egg's not gold and it's kind of like slightly bronze because they need that financial security. So you've got to be prepared for it, which will put a huge strain on a relationship. So money is going to be a, a, an issue moving forward and it's something that needs to be prepared for because trust me, when you do get into a relationship, you'll be amazed how many situations, we all joke about the sick buffalo and the car crash, etc., etc. But guys, these aren't jokes. These are things that are really happening that people are saying, oh, my aunt's had an accident. Can you help her with 50,000 baht for her, for her operation? Or my buffaloes are dying. Or, you know, th these are real things, guys. These are not just things we make up when we're sitting down and having a chat. These are real excuses that people have been hit with. So you've got to be prepared for money. Okay, so the last one. Number five, attitude. It's, uh, how do we get into this? So when I say attitude, Thai girls are very different in my opinion, and you may disagree, but Thai girls in general are very different to European girls in terms of moods and attitude and, and just the way that things are expected from you. Now, listen, everybody's the same, okay? I'm not saying, so any, any, any girls out there that are watching this, I'm not saying you're bad, don't, don't take me the wrong way. But what we're, what we're saying is Thai girls can, I'm not saying they are, but can be very uh, instantaneous in their mood swings. You could be having a great chat and suddenly you're thinking, wow, what's going on? Like, why are you ignoring me? And they have this incredible, incredible skill at being able to ignore you for long periods of time without saying a word. And you might get the occasional, uh, uh, which is mind-blowingly frustrating. But they have these incredible skills of being able to just be really happy, really jokey to suddenly bang. And you can't get the answer out of them. So you have to be prepared for the, the attitude. Likewise, remember we were talking about money. You know, if you can't support your, your bar girl, your, your new girlfriend, if you can't support her financially, it's not just a problem for you and between you and her, and between her and her family, it's a huge problem for her as an individual because she's come back to the village with this new golden goose. You're not supporting her, she looks bad, and you know, everybody knows, ties do not like to lose face. It's like, war well, that can't happen. So that will be a massive issue for you if that situation is presented to you and you can't support her. She is not gonna be happy. So again, it's that attitude where I'm not talking to you, that's it. Wow, where, where does that come from? Like, hello, what's going on? Can you tell me? Why are you not helping me? Why are you not support me? They don't have a concept. They think we have a tree in the garden that just drips gold. They just think it happens. And unfortunately, as we know, that doesn't happen. So there's a few things that we were discussing about 
things that you need to be aware of, the dangers of, of being in a relationship with a bar girl, and these issues that are going to come back and possibly, possibly bite you on the arse. Having said all of this, maybe you're in a relationship and you've had a fantastic time and I'm so pleased for you. I'm not, I'm not casting any stones and generalizations. I'm just saying these are discussions we've had. So if you are in a relationship and you've not experienced these problems, brilliant. You know, share it with us. Tell us about what a success you've had because it's great to hear these success stories. I love meeting people that have been in long-term relationships and have not had any problems because they are few and far between. It's nice to see people in long-term relationships that are that are kind of like level par. So if you have had a problem, please drop a comment below. Let us know, you know, what was the things that affected you most. And on the other side of the coin, if you haven't had a problem and you've had a great relationship, please share it with us. Please let us know what the key to your success is in your relationship with a bar girl. Okay, so that's it today on the coffee chat. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for supporting us. Guys, I don't normally ask this, but we've just started up a, a thing where you can support the Coffee Chat Show by making a donation, a $3 donation, just to help towards our costs. Um, please, I hate saying it, it's terrible, but it is the way it is. If you would like to make a donation, please check out the link below uh, to how, how you can help us support this channel and keep us working and, and busy out here and bringing you these videos. So anyway, that's enough for me. Please remember, hit the subscribe button, and if you'd like to be notified when we bring out a new video, hit the bell icon. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Have a great day. Stay stay day. Have a great day and stay safe wherever you are in the world. And I look forward to talking to you in the next edition of the Coffee Chat Show here on Buzzing Pallia.